Good afternoon and welcome to EHC TV Sports. I'm your host, Anthony Smith Jr. And this past week we had a momentous occasion when the men's and women's basketball teams held their senior day games. Both teams were on the Bob Johnson court inside of the King Center playing their last home game, which also happened to be the last game of the season for both teams. The women's team held their game first versus Carolina University, so let's start by taking a look at their highlights. The team was celebrating Alexis Hoppers, Callie Hatterer, and Claudia Frost as they were playing their last games as Emory and Henry Wasp. So when the game started, it was only right for senior Callie Hatterer to get the offense going by hitting a big time three to get the game started in the right direction. Hatterer finished with 15 points, leading all scoring for the Wasp. On the next offensive possession, a fumbled handoff led to a steal for the Bruins. And off the steal, she outran the defense and finished the fast break with a layup on the other end of the floor. But the Wasps didn't let the turnover get them down as they pulled away late in this one and finished with a final score of 71 to 54, sending the seniors off with one final hurrah. On the men's side, we saw Micah Banks as well as manager Jordan Grant be recognized for senior day prior to tip-off. The men's team was also taking on Carolina University in their final game and came out looking for blood. And a hard jab set by Michael Morgan gives them an easy pass to the basket for two points. On defense, a swat of the pass puts the ball on the ground but the Bruins were able to tame, maintain possession and kick the ball out for a three-point shot. The Wasps then called a timeout to draw up a game plan in order to score on offense inside the paint. And on the very next possession, Kevin Rodriguez uses his athletic system to put up a very acrobatic layup on the bigger defender. And then we see Kay Looney working his magic in the low post with a skyhook for another two points for the Wasps. With all the offensive outpour from the Wasps, they were unable to come out of this one with a win as the final score was 73-69 to in favor of the Carolina Bruins. This week we will have the baseball team holding a doubleheader on Tuesday, March 1st against Montreat with the first game at 1.30 and the following game taking place at 4 o'clock. And for those who will be here this weekend, there will be a men's and women's tennis match against Maryville starting at 1 o'clock. So make sure you come out and show your support for our sports teams this week. And with that, we have come to an end of this week's sports update. For EHC TV, I'm Anthony Smith, Jr.